What? Danger. A good spot to get some photos. I can't get over this place. Look at that. The Vulcan Hotel. Oh, there's the gold office. We can actually just mummify ourselves and go right in. It is pretty cold in here. All right, so today we're going to be staying at a place I've been wanting to visit for a very long time. It's going to be my first time trying out the rooftop tent, but first we need some fuel. I think it's going to be dropping down to around negative two or three and we've got about a two hour drive ahead of us so let's get on the road off we go so it is a little annoying how it is winter the sun sets a bit earlier now and it's definitely a lot colder but with the amount of stuff we've got i think we'll be fine check out this for you a lot of people from overseas know new zealand for being the place where lord of the rings was shot so we're technically going to be staying where Lord of the Rings was shot as well, which is a pretty, pretty cool thing to be able to say. So it is currently about 3.50. The sun is getting pretty low now and the temperature is definitely starting to drop a little bit. Here we go. Oh, that's not good. This is what we've come for. All these crazy, oh my God. I want to go down to the lake, we'll go try check it out. I think this is the way to go down. This might get muddy and slippery. I can't believe we're the only people here. And the sun's still up there. Check this out. I'm going to turn the truck off so we can just kind of go for a walk around. And then I think we should set this tent up before it gets dark and start cooking dinner as well. There's even like a little jetty over there. We're literally the only people here. Look at this. So we are currently in kind of the south of New Zealand. So this is St. Bethan's. I've always wanted to come and visit this place. I've just never really got around to it because I normally go the other way when I drive down south. But I think I'm going to start coming this way all the time. Good thing I've got gummies on. Even just look at the truck. Looks sick over there. Danger. Pretty good spot to get some photos. Where's the flash on? Try to get higher so we can get the sun. I reckon tomorrow morning at sunrise, this will be epic. Oh, it's kind of like sludgy. Look at that view. What? I'm not sure how far up we should go, but... Oh, yeah, a bit of a drop there. Why does the flash keep going off? But here we can see this pipe that would have been used for something. In the central Otago area, there's lots of like old mining equipment. So possibly up the top there was some stuff. Looks like a wreckage on another planet that's been munted. What? Look at this. All right, so we can see more of these pipes here and rocks. So maybe it was for mining. The size of these cliffs and stuff is pretty cool. You can see sunset happening through there. I wonder if there's any fish in here. 
I reckon we head back to the truck, find a good spot to camp because I don't think we can sleep down here. I think the campground's just up here somewhere. You can see a little bit of ice. I'm not even sure if I've brought a beanie with me as well, so. I can't get over this place. Look at that. All right, so I've just been kind of chilling, watching the sunset. I'm not actually allowed to camp down here. It's quite nice just watching the sunset. And I'd say that road that we're about to go up soon will be quite icy in the morning, so that'll be interesting. Look at those formations up here. It's like a wee family of uh, <laughs> the formations. Stay right there. Get some sleep before it gets too cold. Which, surprisingly, I don't think it's going to happen. It's still saying that it's 8 degrees out, so... I think we actually might be alright. Quite a bumpy road. You can see all the marks from the rain, how it's all been streaming down here. Which I'd say is why these cliffs are kind of like all like that shape. Man, the place was so nice. Alright, so not in four wheel drive, we're just rear wheel. Oh yeah, back tires are slipping. Oh, there's even a bar or something open up here. So I can see why they need these rails or else you'll be going straight over this edge. Look at that place. And now we have to try to find a campsite, which is free and it's just a freedom camping site. So anyone can use it. Check out this old town. A lot of central Otago, which is where I'm based, was all brought up by gold mining. So a lot of these little cottages and Places like this would have been your classic little town. Oh, there's the gold office. But we need to try to find this campsite so we can actually set up properly before it gets too dark. I found the location of the campsite. It's not directly in front of the pond or the main lake there. However, it's only 1K away, so by the time the morning rolls around, we'll just have to drive down. You can see the fire going. This town's so cool. Here's the post office get your mail all sorted and newspaper all sort of stuff and this is the Vulcan Hotel so there's a bit of a pub set up in there grab a beer later I'm pretty sure in some of this place does get quite popular though because like look at it I'm surprised there was no one else there today I guess we just got super lucky this campsite is only 1.2k away I think we just go up here right and it's just nestled in between these trees somewhere it must be this one right here so since there was no one down at the lake, I'm not really sure if there's gonna be anyone else here. So maybe we'll have the entire campsite to ourselves as well. So by the looks of it, there might be one other vehicle here. There was a sign just saying danger falling tree hazard. So there is one other car here. I'm kind of keen to stay a little bit away, just have our own space. But I think we're allowed to stay all up in here. Yeah, there's some other people just there and there's just a short walk to a bathroom which is right there I reckon this is a pretty good spot to park up I'll just position the truck around and then we'll it's actually a table over there which could be pretty ideal to cook on all right so here's the table it'd be real nice to cook on so I might pull the truck in just beside this so I just want to make sure that the truck's somewhat level so we can have a good sleep what do you reckon? If anything, you don't want the truck to be that way or, there, or else the blood would just all rush to your head. So you want it pretty even. Okay, so I reckon we call this camp for tonight and get this tent up before it gets too dark. Get all the cooking gear out and start cooking. Um, it's just kind of racing before it gets way too dark because the moon, wait. Oh yeah, the moon, it's half moon at the moment, so there will be a little bit of light and there is clear patches of sky, but we'll just play it safe. My mate actually sells these tents and has kindly gave us one to use for a while and we get some photos and stuff for, but he just put these pads on the ladder, so when you take your shoes off and whatever, it's way comfier to actually stand on the crossbars. These are pretty nice quality and it just makes getting up into the tent far nicer when you take your gummies off or your shoes. We've got a pillow. We'll probably want that up there. A duvet. And 
then I hope I've remembered my sleeping bag. Yep. Sleeping bag and a silk liner. Pretty cold for that. And we also have this puffer jacket, which I remember putting on when I was about four or five years old and it went down to my ankles. It's some like insanely thick puffer jacket, which now fits me, but I've just got in case. At least it gets really cold, so. Oh, we do have a beanie, thank God. So I saw this recipe on Instagram, but I don't really have any, everything for it. However, I think since we're camping, we can make do. I think anything in this temperature will taste pretty, pretty amazing. Just something to get us full. And I think with the amount of random things we've got tucked away in this container, we'll be able to whip something up pretty nice, so. Also, I don't have a bowl with me, so I guess we'll just use this container as our bowl tonight. Kind of going everywhere though, but so the wrap is slightly big for the pan, but I reckon we put a little bit more pepper on. Pretty good effort for one hand. Nothing worse than messed up cheese, but if you guys uh, enjoy this type of video, let me know. It's pretty fun doing this. I'm going to be making more raw styled videos and like going overseas doing it. Subscribe if you do enjoy this. Helps a lot. And check out another video if there's one up already. <laughs> but I think this now should be... Well, this smells good. Tell you what we do need under this wrap though is some butter to make it a bit more crispy and caramelize it. Cheese. Cheese. There we go. We'll get that guy off. Get our next one going. Okay, so that's crispy. And there we have it. Okay, this is probably one of the best things I've had camping. Now it's starting to get a little cold. Right up, next one is finished. Look how crispy. Do I clean up tonight or do I do it in the morning? Oh. Time to get warmed up as fast as possible. So far, it's pretty nice and cozy in here. Lots of room to put all your stuff. And if you guys are wondering what tent this is, it is Cantabria Outdoors. So a New Zealand brand, check them out. Just check out this material in the canvas or whatever it is that they use. But almost has this layer on it so that the condensation from outside, there's no chance of it getting in. All the watertight um, stitching. So yeah, really good design and check them out. to try out this sleeping bag which is it's some time to puff up okay i think i will have to put this on it is kind of fresh i think it just protects the bag really and just as another layer if you need it so i think this sleeping bag is going to keep us more than warm enough if say it does get really cold out we can actually just like mummify ourselves and go right in so it is pretty cold in here. I think I'm gonna have to put this duvet over my feet just to keep them warm throughout the night. Good move bringing this duvet though. I'm very happy about that. This one is good, but it's quite far down. I should have brought in more. And if we do get really cold, there's the scarf. I did pack the puffer, but luckily the other stuff was just in the car, so. <laughs> There's a 
swing over there. It could have been way colder, so but now we need to get up, make a coffee, pick our stuff up, and maybe go back down to the lake. Far out. I'm not actually sure if there is any people in that car or not. I haven't seen anyone come out of it this morning or what, so. So I think you can actually walk in a right around the entire place, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I just want to get a few more photos while we're here. Yeah, cheers for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.